Hello my friends and welcome to another Tuesday of Tutorial. I am Leonardo Perez Nieto and today we will draw a Formula One car celebrating the victory of Sergio Perez in Monaco. We can begin by marking the axis of the front tires and then drawing them. Let's indicate lightly the center of the car here. And if we measure from the center, this tire should actually be here. We draw a horizontal line to make sure we are straight. <laughs> and then we go on with the car, the front wing and the body. The rear tire and the helmet. You know, I think either the car is too large or the tires too small. I'll make the tires larger, which I think is the easiest way to correct it. And let's make them turning. I think that will be nicer, with more movement. I mean, making a slight turn instead of going straight to the front. I would like to invite you to follow my accounts on Instagram and Twitter at ArtistLeonardo. Those are the places where you can see the new artworks and news first. Racing cars are really fun to draw. And this, of course, is not going to be very precise since I'm just eyeballing it. But generally speaking, I like drawing loosely which is more like sketching, even though this may have more detail than a quick sketch. Let's draw the number 11. Until now I have been using a 0.5mm HB lead, which is of a medium hardness. Now I switched to a softer one for the darks. And now to a hard one for the light shading. I'm using a 223 mechanical pencil. By the way, the list of materials that I am using is in the description below the video. I'm very proud of Checo, that's how we call Sergio, for winning the Monaco Grand Prix which probably is the hardest track to drive and it was in a race partly in the rain and partly dry which made it even more difficult. It was so tight that the first, second, third and fourth places arrived to the checkered flag all within only five seconds. Checo's teammate, who currently is the world champion, with a similar car, arrived in third. And my beloved Ferraris, which probably were the best cars for the race, arrived on second and fourth. And with this, Checo became not only the first Mexican to win the Monaco Grand Prix, but also he became the Mexican with the most wins in Formula One history. Congratulations, Checo. We are proud of you. And we continue shading. This part of the air intakes is very dark. We leave a little bit lighter the arms for the suspension and all of that. We have to do this intricate work a little bit more carefully. We do the same on the other side. We keep shading details like this wind reflector and the mirrors. Let's do some of the lettering of the sponsor. This is really fun. 
I love drawing so much. Okay, very good. Now let's do the background, starting with the guardrail. Good. Now the shadow of the car. The road. Let's draw a wall here in the back. And then the buildings, since this is a city track. Very good. Now we pull some lights. And if you got all the way to this point, I would love to know it. Please in the comments write me the secret code Adrenaline for Speed. <laughs> and it's ready. If you enjoyed it, please give it a like. In case you want to learn how to draw a sports Ferrari, I'm leaving the video on the screen. Don't forget to subscribe to Fine Art Tips if you haven't done so already and I will see you with more creations on Tuesday.